while since I gave an update and so I thought I would make this video just to give you guys an idea of what's going on in my life and what the next steps are. It's currently my first ever fall where I haven't returned to school and so I feel like part of my identity has been lost. I mean, I love school and I have all plans to do my master's and pursue more education. So obviously I love learning and being a student. It's been rough, like especially because I've been in the process of trying to move and I just don't feel very like secure in terms of like what I'm doing in life. So that might have been more of like a me problem, but it's weird. I mean, I've heard people say that first fall after you are out of school is like so strange because you don't know what to do with your life or like if you're looking for a job like you can become depressed really easily so for those of you who might be feeling that but just know that you're not alone like it's a very common thing that was a little bit off on a tangent but it's like honestly how i've been feeling for these past like i think it's been two months since i've finished my nclex and I've just kind of been waiting. I've taken it easy as much as I could. I went on a trip. I don't know if you can tell I'm a little bit tanned. I'm ready to like start. So luckily, or hopefully I should say, I'll be moving next week sometime. And I know it's weird to say I don't know when I'll be moving, but essentially most of my stuff is packed up and I'm ready to go. I'm waiting on my visa. I will make a video on the process of being a Canadian nurse and moving to the States and what you have to do because I was looking for that information when I needed to do it myself and I couldn't find any resources. So I think that'll be handy. And also know that this process can take a long time, especially if you don't expedite it. I'm still waiting on U of T to send my documents to CGFNS, which is the people that give me my visa screen. Sometimes it's your school that can be really slow, so just like keep that in mind. But basically, I did not know I'd be waiting this long. Um, I guess nobody knew we'd be waiting this long. Uh, my job is ready for me to start, and so I'm kind of just like really anxious and antsy to get going. Basically, um, we have looked up places to live. We were hopefully gonna sign a lease today, but that fell through for various reasons. And so now we're looking for another place. Literally sign like today tomorrow anytime oh wait i haven't even told you guys where what's going on okay i'm like all over the place so basically i got a job in indiana i had no idea where indiana was i mean like i had an idea like where i thought it was to look it up but yes it's a state and it's in the united states geography lesson right there basically i took this job because they're kind of doing a pilot relocate canadian nurses to indiana and incentivize them by paying them a great hourly rate and also paying for their housing. So we have to find our own housing, but they will cover the cost of our housing by giving me a stipend. I did apply to other places like California and Texas, but in the end, Indiana is kind of the best bet for me right now in terms of money. And also this was kind of a connection that we had, so I thought I would try it out. Not sure how long I'm gonna stay there, but the state of Canadian nurses and Ford and his government and the housing crisis is just not very appealing to stay here right now. For my husband and I were really just trying to try new things and save money so it'll be kind of an adventure. What they have me doing is they're going to have me start at a rehab hospital for six months and then I can transfer to whatever kind of hospital I want to work in. Um, ideally it would probably be labor and delivery or um, emergency rehab hospital i have no idea what to expect i've never done any type of rehab in nursing school i know that i'll be working like a nine to five monday to friday shift which is good for me in terms of moving and also trying to get settled into a routine i'm hoping that once i get more into a routine i'll be able to make more content videos um just because i haven't been doing anything nursing related these past like month and a half i've just kind of been going on vacation and taking it slow so I took a break but essentially I'm going to try that out and then maybe do something else six months from now but stay in Indiana. The goal I don't know if we're going to stay in Indiana for a couple of years. I have other plans in terms of like masters and maybe other things that I'm not sure about. Is that we get a lease on a place for this weekend and then I was thinking of driving down to Chicago and staying with my aunt and then because Chicago is really close to Indiana it's like three hours away I could just like drive over and take a look at the place to make sure everything's good. Fingers crossed that the visa comes in next week so that I can literally go to the border, get my TN, book a truck, and just move everything. A lot is happening right now. I'm really happy that it's finally starting to come to fruition because I'm so tired of waiting. A lot of changes are coming up. Down to try so many different things in my career, so I definitely want to show as much as I can. A couple things that are kind of pinging in my head is continued education. 
um, another degree, travel nursing. We'll see. I haven't decided on anything. I'm just taking it one step at a time, but I'm really excited to show you guys what I decide to do. That brings me to the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away my NCLEX textbook that I bought for studying as well as my flashcards. Um, I mean, if you're not going to use it, that's fine, but you can easily sell it and make money. I think they're worth quite a bit. I'll put the values in the giveaway. Um, and then I'm also going to give you guys a $10 Starbucks gift card because if you are using it for studying, why would you not want to treat yourself a little bit? All the details are on my Instagram, which is linked in the beginning of this video and also in the caption below. Please do enter. There's multiple ways to enter and it's free stuff. So why wouldn't you want it? Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm so excited to take you guys along with me on this crazy adventure that I've decided to embark on.